All right, Coach, so obviously today the offense took a little bit to get going, but what, what do you really see from the team to just, you know, stay the course and get a pretty good, you know, a series clinching win today? Yeah, I mean, I thought their their pitcher, Miner, did a really good job of, of – um, of keeping off, off, off balance on both sides of the plate and um, it took us a little bit to adapt to make sure that we're hitting the pitch we want to hit and um, you know Jess finally got one where she got into it and um, Carly and Bree and um, you know it's just, it takes us a little bit of time sometimes to get a little bit disciplined and um, but our hitters are good enough that we can do that so hopefully like the plan is just to make sure we do that a little bit earlier it'll make everyone feel a little bit better if we do that earlier but um, it's just nice that we did it. What did you see from, I mean, Carly, obviously she had the two-run homer and another diving catch, which seems to be kind of her signature at this point over the last couple weeks. What have you really seen from her recently, both really leading this team off the field, but also just her play on the field? Yeah, I mean, she's voted team captain. Like, she plays the game very hard every day. You don't you don't anticipate if she's, I mean, you just don't question. She's just going to play the game, everything she has, and, um, and you have to resp respect that. She has multiple tools at the plate. Um, she feels really confident in her swing and, um, you know, and she's going to be willing to lay out to do anything or do anything she can to keep keep our team where they need to be. Um, so I'm super happy, happy for her. I think it's it's been a really great year for her, and, and I hope she can just – she will continue to play the game the same way. It's awesome. How encouraging was it these last couple games to give up six runs in that first game, but then two yesterday and a run road victory, and then only one today at the, the last seconds of the game. How, how yeah. was that? Yeah, Friday was uncharacteristic for us, like um, for our staff, and they know it, and um, we needed to get Missy back on, on, in the circle right away. We did that yesterday, and she was, you know, the, the Missy that we know. Um, and, you know, Aaron did well on Friday and then did, you know, or Thursday, um, and then did well again today. So um, that's just kind of more of our character is making sure that we keep um, teams off balance. And, um, you know, we average quite a bit of strikeouts a, a game. So, um, you know, we just try to keep the the mindset is like, you know, let's let Thursday be Thursday and let's play forward um, and make sure that we're taking care of what we can control. And that's every game forward. Did it seem like the team refocused? Because you go from, you know, from losing the game to run ruling it in mm -hmm. just five innings yeah. yesterday. Yeah, I mean, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing on how we played the game on Thursday. Not that we lost, but just how we played. Um, and so, you know, when we challenge our team um, to respond, you know, typically they do. Um, and, and, and then it was an idea today that just says back it up. Back it up to make sure that we finish this thing, we finish thing at our place, um, and we play the game the way we know how to play the game. Um, and they did that. Do you feel like that showed a lot of mental toughness with this team to flush Thursdays and then you know, put it behind them and finish strong in the series? Yeah, I mean, I, I think Thursday was tough. Like, that's a tough day. Uh, we didn't play well. It's your opener of a series, you know. Um, you know, and, and we just challenge our team that says, like, respond. Make sure that we're playing the game the right way. Respond. We don't have to do anything special because we've been playing well all year. Um, and our team did, and that's that's what shows you that your your team is getting mature, is going on their way, is to be able to respond back to that, punch back, um, and keep playing. Talk about your defense today, like especially like the outfield. Aaron only had two strikeouts today. Yeah, I mean our defense has been training hard and making sure that we're tracking down balls. And um, you know, Heaven's been out there all all year for us in left field, and this is their first year to be out there all year. And Peyton's done a good job. And you know, I, I think that they just have this mindset or mantra that like nothing's gonna nothing's gonna hit. Um, and if it does, if it does, it's like one hop and we're gonna get it. And so they really embrace that that mindset and, and really done a good job with it all year. All year we've been we've taken away a lot of extra base hits all year with our outfield. Does it feel like that's really flipped to be one of the strengths? Because you mentioned how last year that was one of the weaknesses, but it yeah. feels like not just the outfield, but even. When there's hard hit ones in the infield, very rarely does it bounce off or get by. Yeah. It just seems like that's one of the strengths. Yeah, I mean, we're second in the Big 12 in fielding percentage, which was, was what we needed to improve on, and we knew it. We knew we needed to get better in the circle, and we needed to get better on the defensive side of the ball, and we've done that. Um, and that's why you're able to continue to hit like you've done our whole career here. Um, but we needed to seal some things up, and, and we have. So we're excited about that, and we're excited to keep playing forward. Now eight and seven in conference. How much does winning back-to-back -back conference series help you going into a really key series next week at LSU? Yeah, yeah, it's huge. I mean, like, like I've said a million times, like our kids don't care about the process. Like they want to win, um, and as long as um, we play the game the right way, uh, we have really good opportunity. So um, I think that's really important to have um, momentum moving into that series, and we'll be up for that series. We we are every year, um, and we're excited to get 
get back out there and and uh, and and really show show everyone. Like it's always great to play ranked opponents, um, and so we're excited for that for that series and, and and you know to take our own fate. Well, Carly, obviously today you had the diving catch, which I don't know if you see that as like your signature, but it seems like it's kind oh. of the <laughs> last week. And the two-run home run. Just how was your play feeling today? Just really aggressive. I think um, just from how we've been playing this weekend, we just wanted to go out and be the aggressor, and uh, we just had more quality at bats today, and. Um, just made sure we stayed to our zone and, and just kind of scrapped away. Obviously, after that first game, Coach saying she was disappointed, just not really with the loss as much as how mm -hmm. you guys played. How did you see um, the team change their focus and whatnot for these last two games to still win the series? Right. I think we just talked about, like, what's our zone and hitting and, like, what are we comfortable swinging at. I think in our first game we just kind of got outside ourselves and, and didn't get some calls our way. So uh, I think that just affected some of our – at bats, but I think uh, as we moved on the weekend, we just did a better job of hitting the pitches we know that we can hit. And when, you know, seven of these last nine conference games, you guys were obviously very close with Texas, close with OU, but to finally see these wins start coming in, is that, does it does it just change how, I don't know if the belief is the word, but just how you guys are feeling day to day when, you, when those wins are actually coming in? Right, yeah, it feels good. It feels good to uh, build momentum, and um, it was tough against the first couple of conference weekends because we know we can beat anyone. And so uh, we're definitely looking forward to um, just the next um, conference series because we know that we can beat anyone and just um, further in our in the finish to our season. And now the wins can be one thing went up, but to bounce back from that loss and to get a run rule victory yesterday, that it doesn't make up for it, but is that – did, was there like a course correction where you guys were just you needed something like that to really get back feeling how you know you guys can play? Mm -hmm. It was definitely expected. Like we came out with fury and we were just ready to kill everyone and um, just dominate the game. And I think that's what we did really well. And now the the defense, you know, last year coach said like, that was one of the weaknesses of this team was right. the fielding percentage. Went on. But not just you guys in the outfield are mm -hmm. you know making your diving plays, you know, not allowing too many extra base runs infield, mm -hmm. but not letting a whole lot of balls get past them. How have you seen the defense really change functionally? especially in conference play, just how you guys have been playing all season? I think it starts at practice. Every day we just go out and we just work really, really hard. Um, and also it helps, like, having great pitching too. And so I think when everyone's feeling good and confident, like, about each other and about our team and really feeling unified, I think um, it's easier to play behind. And so um, people just feel really confident out there. How, how, would, how did you feel like your pitching was today, Aaron, just overall? Uh, I don't think it was my best. I think that uh, – I usually get a little bit more strikeouts in the games, but I was pretty satisfied with how I was dealing and how my defense was backing me up. Was it frustrating at all to be that close to a uh, to a shutout when you know they get they get the run literally on the last out of the game? Uh, it was a little. I mean, something I think about, but it's not a big deal as long as we get the win. I'm proud of our team. You know, one of the biggest things is the the defense seems like it's really taking a big step up because you're not just obviously with the pitching, but so it seems like the fielding is so much better this year. As a pitcher, is that something you notice throughout a game where there's just, uh, you know, you can trust who's behind you even more? 100%. I think that this year we've been a lot better on the field, and it's really helped our hitting as well, being able to be confident in ourselves both sides of the games. And I think just being with the team, we're just working really hard, and being able to have it pay off is a big deal. How did it feel for this team after, after dropping that game once you come back and you know, run rule yesterday, but really to get this series win the way you guys did? How, how did that feel among the team? Uh, it was really important for us to get that win for our future and for postseason and whatever we do. I think that we were really frustrated and it was a really big wake-up call that we needed. I don't want the, win, the the loss, but I definitely am proud of us for coming back the next two days. Does it feel like the team's kind of rolling the way you want right now? Because after OU and Texas, these last, you know, winning every series, getting the sweep in there, just a run rule victory. Does it feel like the team's kind of in a, in a rhythm in Big 12 play right now? Mm -hmm, I think so. I think going into OSU, we're going to have to be – ready to play. They're a good team, and I think being able to come in with a little bit of momentum is really important for us to finish out Big 12. And specifically with OSU, every series obviously is big in the coverage with only seven teams, but the team that's probably closest to you guys in most people's eyes with, you know, back-to-back -back in the rankings, um, is that when you guys are, you really focus on knowing that's a team that's, they're right there with you, and getting that series win would just really, really push this team forward? We also have a big uh, chip on our shoulder with OSU. We got a big little rivalry going so I think that going into next week we're going to be guns blazer and we'll be ready to play. Why is that? Why do you have why we do you just, have that rivalry? We just keep going we just yell at each other you know play a little bit harder play a little bit not like dirty but just playing 
a little bit more grittier against one another.